prop guards and looks like we get extra prop guards we got all right so let's go and check out the flips look at that it does a flip what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel and today we are checking out the jjrc h68 the bell weather it is a 720p wi-fi fpv rc quokka the ready to fly and it has 20 minutes of flight time so let's open up the box and check it out all right so we got everything out on the table let's take a look at the quadcopter here and it is right around the size of a sema x5c looking very similar to the design of the dji phantom series of quadcopter with the camera on the bottom there looks like a gimbal but it is not a gimbal but it is tilt adjustable manually so you can adjust the angle of the camera that is nice and it does have anti-vibration dampening mount and this did come separate i just had to uh, slide it right in and connect the wire to the connector and we are up and running and the legs also came separate and they came with these little screw that screws in already primed and ready to go so all you got to do is just screw it on and that is all i did to the clock up there and it is ready to go and might as well just take a look at the clock up there here there is a on and off switch on the bottom so you can turn it on and off and here's the battery bay let's take a look here and it opens up slides out and it opens down check it out and here's the battery and there you go that's where you connect the jst connector right on the back and we got ourselves a huge battery it is a 1800 milliamp 3.7 volt 30c battery 20 minutes of flight time so we will check it out so once you put the battery back in here and connect it you lift it up and you push it in to lock it in place that is pretty nice and we do have some led lights on the bottom of the quadcopter here and of course it is geared motors you see the motor right there and that is just about it for the quadcopter and we do get some prop guards so you can screw these on as well just kind of like the sema x5c style prop guards you place it in there and put a screw right on it to hold it and they do come with a screw already primed on the prop guards and looks like we get extra prop guards we got one two three four five six prop guards in total so they give you two extra prop guards which is really nice just in case you crash it and break one of them and check it out we got another bag of goodies and it comes with extra props as well a full set of extra props and the usb to jst charge cable and got a little bag of screws and a screwdriver and we also get two extra landing legs and as you can see it already comes with a screw prime that ready to be screwed on so yeah two extra landing legs that is the first time i got some extra landing legs and here's the clam style phone clip and it goes on to the remote control just like this and just slide it right in very nice way to hold your phone and it does hold my iphone 6 plus so let's take a look at the remote control here pretty nice looking remote control and it takes four double a batteries and we got some functional buttons looking like rotary buttons this one here is the one key to take off one key to land and this one here is to calibrate the gyros one key to calibrate the gyros all right so here's the speed changing button you got one two and i believe three speeds even though it just says h and l uh, here's the flip button and if you long press the flip button you go into the headless mode so that is kind of new and here are some trim buttons just the way it is and the throttle and the pitch and there's no switch on the throttle and the pitch built in all right so both sticks to the bottom and to the left uh, will calibrate something either the gyro the accelerometer or the heading and both sticks to the bottom and to the right will calibrate something as well so we got one calibration with the one single button press and both sticks to the bottom and left and both sticks to the bottom and right to calibrate 
whatever it is it is calibrating everything gets calibrated so bolt sticks to the bottom and out will arm the motors and to disarm the motors bolt sticks to the bottom and out as well and holding the throttle stick all the way down will disarm the motors also and here is the instruction booklet that comes along with it and it is a pretty nice instruction booklet goes on to show you the diagram of the quadcopter and all of the stuff that comes with it and how you attach the propellers battery and the remote control diagram with all of the functions of the remote control how to insert the battery and how to go about flying the quadcopter as well so very nice and it also gives you a qr code to scan so you can download the app and it is called the jjrc app but this one does not work with this quadcopter so they give you another little addendum to the remote or the QR code, the Wi-Fi phone app. And this one also has the QR code and this one will work with this quadcopter. I guess they updated it. So this one is called the JJRC TST app and it is a free downloadable app in the app store and it gives you all of the details and how to on this little booklet and they also give you this AR master shooter game by JJ games and you can download the uh, app in the app store and I guess you have to register to play the game but you don't have to register you can just play with it it is kind of like a shooter style game so that is everything that came out of the box so let's go for a little demo flight with the JJRC H68 the bellwether all right here we go with the demo flight of the H98 the bellwether by JJRC let's go ahead and power this baby up all right we got some Green LED lights in the front and blue LED lights on the back. Place it right here. Turning on the remote. And let's see. The lights are solid so you don't have to do the throttle up and down to bind it. We are already bound. So let's do the one key to calibrate. There you go. Lights are blinking and they have turned solid. Also, bolt sticks to the bottom and to the left. That does uh, some kind of calibration as well as both sticks to the bottom and right. All right, so we are good to go. So let's see. Arming the motors, both sticks to the bottom and out. And do that again to disarm. And you can also disarm by throttling all the way down. Throttling up and letting go does not arm this quadcopter. All right, so let's go ahead and turn on the phone and connect to the wi-fi network and look at that i'm already connected to the uav wi-fi network starting up the app it is the jjrc tst phone app and easy to fly anytime anywhere and it goes on to show you some of the quadcopters of jjrc though so this is a universal new app for the jjrc products and let me look for my h 68 okay that looks like it so let's go ahead and connect okay the screen is flipped over so let me flip it over the other way All right we also have a screen flip over as well i think yeah but it doesn't move the controls to the top so we're gonna have to flip the phone upside down and here we are we got wi-fi FPV so let me go ahead and screen record so you guys can see what I'm talking about Sorry about that Okay, let me increase the volume and my brightness is up all the way So we are screen recording. Hopefully it doesn't turn off by itself. So there you go guys. There's the screen record and The Wi-Fi FPV looking pretty nice Let me see the Sun let me see if there's a black dot. Oh, yeah, there is a black dot. So not the very best camera here. So let's go ahead and take some photos. So the photo icons are hiding on the left side. You got to pull it out and then you can go ahead and take photos. So there you go. Took it, taken a photo there. And let's see. Let's make our rounds and take the photos. There you go. Semi shade and take a photo of the sun part of a car and the other side of the car okay 
the rocky ridge line. I see there's a little delay here and directly in front of us. What a beautiful day. And let me take a photo of the landing pad. There you go. We have taken some photos. Let's go ahead and take some videos as you can see it has kind of a lag and let me hit that video icon and it is flashing as well as there's a counter so let's put the phone back on the phone clip and test this quadcopter out so we got one key to take off one key to land let me see oh yeah it takes off and there you go that is the altitude it comes to by itself looking pretty nice this quadcopter miniaturized DJI Phantom there's the yaw very stationary yaw at that all right looks good we got 20 minutes of flight time so we can waste time on this one that is amazing 20 minutes we've never heard of that before <laughs> on a quadcopter like this anyways there you go that is speed number one let's change over to speed number two and I can see the LED lights in this bright sunny day yeah I can see the blue and the green very well okay that is speed number two here let me bring it down and that is the yaw in speed number two not bad okay speed number three okay, so far so good I don't have any interference with the controls at all very accurate very responsive very nice actually all right so let's bring it down here a little bit and it will actually do flips on this one i remember a clock up there similar to this will not do a flip maybe because of the camera but this one will do all directional flips so very nice and it did pretty nice flips as well so long pressing it we'll get into the headless mode and there you go full yaw spin and I'm pitching forward and pitching backwards and it is in a spin going to the right going to the left oh yeah it works very nicely so again long press it to get out of the headless mode and there you go I don't think this thing has a one key to return but uh, that is just about it yeah there's no other functional buttons on this thing so let's go ahead and see if we can FPV with it so I'm gonna go down to speed number two and let's see going forward uh, there's a delay though there's a little bit of a lag let's see there I am oops let me go forward and yeah, when I let go of the sticks, it does not want to plateau off right away from the video. But the controls are accurate. So the Wi-Fi has a lag. The video feed has a lag. And the pitch on this thing is too much for FPV purposes. So I'm pitching forward, turning around, and I lost video so there you go i gotta look up and regain connection with my eyes <laughs> there you go 
there I am and coming forward and that is the pitch on speed number one turning around Oop, overshot myself I'm on the right there you go and it should be right there so you can kind of FPV but there is a lag so maybe a Wi-Fi repeater might be helpful in that aspect with the FPV video feed so there you go guys that is just about it for the hard remote so let me go ahead and bring it in for a landing and we'll test it out with the Wi-Fi phone app so uh, let me bring it in right around here and hit the one key to land button oh it just comes straight down okay kind of almost flipped over I had to kind of pitch back a little bit for it to prevent flipping over so there you go okay I'm going to hit the video icon so hopefully we got that video clip saved up so let me go ahead and disconnect the phone from the remote control and turn the phone or the remote control off leave the remote control on the table there and the light is flashing so I would assume that I need to turn something on here okay just by hitting the on button brings up the virtual sticks and the lights have gone solid so now the phone is paired with the quadcopter uh, it's very hard to see what's on here so let me double check to make sure I got the screen recording on and there it is screen recording is on so let me go ahead and blow up some stuff here okay the first one on the top left is the speed changing so let's go to 100 percent next one is 3d so that's virtual screen split screen and looks like this one here is the altitude hold yeah it brings up the one key to take off land and emergency stop and something else on the bottom what is that waypoints or something yeah something like that so the next one down looks like uh, pendulum so it must be a gyro let me hit that yeah it is a gyro so let me get out of that and of course the on and off and this one here flips the screen upside down so that's that and the one next to it looks like headless mode and the one next to it looks like the gyro calibration let me see yeah the lights flash and they go solid so that's the gyro calibration and what is this okay it brings up the trim bars and this one here is some kind of objects I guess I'm not interested in that I'm gonna leave it without anything so there we go let me see if I can take a video one more time okay all right, I think that's just about it. So let's check it out with the Wi-Fi phone app. I'm going to hit the video one more time. And hopefully that is recording. And there's also a flip switch as well, right in the middle. So one key to take off and one key to land. Let's check it out. There you go. All right. Okay, we are in 100%. It is very jittery. Look at that. Very mechanical, not smooth. Wow, there is no lag but it is very mechanical like a robotic movement so there you go that is the hover so let's go ahead and bring it back let me go down in speed I'm in 30% let me bring it back with 30% still kind of robotic but it is slightly slower pretty fast actually okay here's 60% I'm assuming I can't really see the screen but yes it is 60 percent so 60 percent is pretty decent and you are able to fly this thing 
pretty good with the Wi-Fi phone app. There you go. Well, I'm a little lower and slightly to the left. Oh man, very hard to control it. Hello. All right, so let's go ahead and bring it in. And very robotic movements. Okay but you are able to fly it with very good controls. The yaw, however, it kind of jumps too fast. It's not a slow yaw. So there you go, right in front of us. And let's go ahead and hit that pendulum. So we are in the gyro mode. And there you go, the gyro mode is working. Let me bring it up in altitude. There you go, going to the right, going to the left. There you go, coming back. To the right pretty cool it is working very well very good controls response timing is pretty decent look at that but like i said it is a little bit robotic in its movements wonder if that's going to come out on the video all right so that is the gyro mode let me get out of the gyro mode and bring it in just a little bit all right so let's go and check out the flips look at that it does a flip it drops in altitude a little bit let me bring it in a little closer so you can do flips with the phone app as well flip forward oops flip backward it doesn't want to do a flip now uh-oh no, it doesn't want to do a flip. So I think we might be hitting the battery live. Let me bring it in and look at the lights. Yes, the lights are blinking intermittently. There you go. So I don't think we have 20 minutes of flight time. So slightly less than 20 minutes actually. All right, so that is just about it. I'm going to go ahead and stop the video recording to make sure I got that video recording saved up. All right, so that is the battery life on the JJRCH68, the bellwether. Yeah, let me go ahead and bring it in. One key to land. And you can redirect this path while it's coming down. There you go. Don't flip over. There you go. That is the flight time of the JJRCH68, the bellwether. Low battery warning too, just in time. All right, just got done checking out the JJRC H68, the Bellwether, the 720p Wi-Fi FPV with the 20 minute flight time. But I do not think we actually got 20 minutes of flight time on our very first charge of this battery. Probably about at the most, I would, I would have to guess about 14 minutes, maybe 13 minutes, something like that. Uh, it did fly pretty good with the hard remote as well as the Wi-Fi phone app. A little bit robotic movements on this quadcopter. Hopefully the video came out decent. The control distance on this quadcopter I did not mention is about 100 meters and it did pretty good. As far as the phone app is concerned, control is good, but there is a little bit of a lag when it comes to the Wi-Fi FPV feed so that was kind of bad it will probably benefit from a wi-fi repeater and perhaps you might want to get yourself one of those xiaomi me wi-fi repeaters those things are just under ten dollars and it will greatly improve your wi-fi fpv connectivity so there you have it guys my review and test flight of the jjrc h68 the bellwether thank you so much for tuning in and watching have a great day and we'll see you again next time.